Hello everyone, Gabriel here, and today we are going to learn how to use barcodes to split our documents. So the first thing is we need to take a look at our files. We can see here we have two types of files. We have that kind of file document and that kind of document. And you can see here we have one barcode here and if you look at the other pages you can see that the barcode only happens on the first page of the document and here if you look at here you can see that you have one barcode here and another one here and if you look at all the other pages you see that the vertical barcode also shows up on the last page so now that we know all the types of documents we are going to use for our scanning we can already think so we are going to use the horizontal barcodes because that only shows up on the first page and also it, it is the same here so we're going to use definitely going to use horizontal barcodes so let's get ready to import our files we, we open chrono, chrono scan and let's create a new batch and a new job for that batch. Let's call it split using barcode job. There we go. And we hit next. We don't need IntelliTag. Oh, you might need it, but for this tutorial, we don't need it. We need to enable barcode reading because that's why, what are we going to use to split the document. So let's just unselect this and select the barcode reading and then click next. We have multi-image documents and we are going to split them manually. So we just click on the multi-image and then split manually and then click next. We can use invoice fields or generic fields. Uh, for this tutorial it doesn't matter. It only matters depending on what kind of document are you going to use for your general your work. So for this tutorial, we will select generic fields and then click next. We want our output, main output to be the, to the disk on a PDF file. So let's just click next. Let's make sure that everything we need is correct on this window. We have several images, manual split and barcode reading. So we are good to go. Let's click finish and let's create our barcode split batch one there we go let's hit create batch now we are ready to start importing our files one important note here is that uh, if you have a lot of documents different documents you don't want to import them all you want to import a small sample of your documents so you can configure and make sure all the settings for the split is all right and then you want to import all the whole batch we will see how that works in a little bit uh, since we have only those files here they are 13 files uh, it's not a big problem but if you had a lot of files you just want to import a little sample for instance uh, let's say we would import those two first two and plus that one and that one just to make sure our settings are set okay and are working and then we would just import all the documents so they could be split correctly for this tutorial we will be just importing everything so we just select all and then drag and drop them into the interface when that dialog shows up just click yes you will see that the documents are not split correctly uh, those last ones, that second type of document, is split correctly because there is only one type of barcode and it only shows up on the first page of each document. But if you look at the other ones, you see that since you have two kinds of barcodes, it will split the document on whatever type of barcode the program founds, finds. So we have to configure that. What we're going to do is select one page with the barcode. Uh, let's select the first page. That would make a lot of sense uh, of that first kind of document because that's the one that needs the most amount of working. We select it, make sure it's green 
and then come here up here to on the barcode read button we click it and then we click on the barcode read settings one you can add uh, several barcode readings but for this tutorial we just need one you can see here the program can see the two barcodes and it knows what kind of barcode it is and what what code is it is in them and to make sure we will only read the horizontal barcode not the vertical one we are going to go to the image processing here on the on that window we go to the image processing section and down here you can see left to right right to left top to bottom bottom to top we want to make sure that the top to bottom and the bottom to top is not selected so the program if you click down there on the read barcodes you will see that the program no longer reads vertical barcodes only the horizontal ones and the other thing you want to make sure is down here on the actions area that you have everything set up to split your documents what you're going to have to make sure you have selected is that last box here if barcode has been read insert new document that will make sure that the program splits the document when it first reads that barcode that kind of barcode that type of barcode here uh, on the horizontal of course because now it doesn't read vertical barcodes anymore and you can also say that the barcode begins makes uh, begins the document or ends the document so if we were to we can't use the vertical ones because it starts and ends you can only have one option selected here you can also you have also to make sure that drop down menu here is on the right position you can even use a little bit of the code only if you have control over how your barcodes on your documents are made you can just make sure all the barcodes start with a certain number so you just select barcode begins with and then write the code let's say 00047 is the code for first page of the document so you go barcode begins with that code and then every time the program reads a barcode that starts with that number it will split the document because the program knows it is the first page and you have also ends with you can end with that code with whatever you want it's very flexible but since we don't have control and usually you don't have control over the barcodes on your documents you just leave it on barcode exists and then nothing on that field and if you you can also delete the page if you check this box here if barcode has been read delete page if you check this one here the program will erase the pages it they won't show up but since we have uh, information here we need the program to show up those pages so we just make sure it is it is not selected and since they are on the correct orientation we don't need to click on the rotate images uh, and we don't need to save the orientation so we just have the if barcode has been read selected and then the document begins on this page and then you have here barcode exists if we hit ok we don't want to reprocess because that wouldn't change much uh, like i said before you would have to re-import everything and then we will have to open the other type of document because it's a different type of barcode here so we just go down here go to the other type of document and then select it make sure it's green come up here again on the barcode read click it and then barcode read settings one and you can see the program can read that type of barcode so we are good to go like uh, you see on import time it already had the correct settings and you can see that's code 128 and the other one is code 25 to make sure we have no errors splitting the documents we can just uncheck on the barcode types all the other types we are not going to be using on our documents so we just have 25 and 128 to split our documents 
And we can also make sure the character minimum length and the maximum length is in a good range to make sure our documents are not split by other kinds of barcodes. And you can see here it's saved. So that, that option here is for the whole batch. You can change it per document type. Uh, you are not going to do it on this tutorial. So just if you click on read barcode, you can make sure the program can read it and you leave everything else as it is and then click OK. We also don't want to reprocess all the documents. And now as a final step, you have to select everything. So you just right click here and or, or over one of the documents, it could be anyone and select all, you click it and then hit delete on your keyboard. And now it will remove everything and after it removes everything, it is time to import all your documents. We have all the settings good, they are good to go. Now when we import everything back again and hit yes, with drag and drop, you can see everything is split like it should be. You can see that the other pages are correct. You have three pages, you have three pages, we have three pages and one page and you can see the program now gets everything right. So that's the way to do barcode splitting on your documents. So that's it guys, I hope you liked it and we will see you on the next tutorial. Bye bye.